Hello friends, this video on surface areas and volumes part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand right circular cylinder. Please pay attention to this word, right circular. Okay. Let's try this experiment. Let's take a circular bowl or circular plate to be on safe side, circular plate and let's start few of these circular plates on top of each other in the fashion shown right what will you get is a cylinder so if the stack is kept vertically we get a right circular cylinder in this case it is kept at right angles to the base and the base is circular why it is right circular cylinder the base this base you see that this base and this is both are actually circular and they are at the right angle to the axis. This is the central axis. This whole circle is right angle to the axis. And if the base is not circular or, or the angle is not right, it is not a right circular cylinder. For example, if you don't keep in this uh, in the horizon, in the word, if you don't keep the stack vertically, you get this kind of figure, and this is not a cylinder, right? For it to be right circular cylinder, first thing the stack is to be kept vertically, and all these plates has to be circular. So, if either of the case is not satisfied, it is not a right circular cylinder. In this chapter, we are dealing only with the right circular cylinder. So, unless stated, the cylinder will be the right circular cylinder. So if you see the definition of the cylinder, you can also define the cylinder as the 3D surface. I'm talking about the right circular cylinder here. 3D surface formed by the points at a fixed distance from a given line segment. And this line segment is called axis. So if you take this line segment and if you draw all the points which are fixed distance from this line segment. See, all these points are fixed distance from this line segment R. The fixed distance is R, all these points. So if you draw all these points, what you get is a cylinder. Okay. So the solid that is enclosed by this surface, which you get just now, and also, so please note this right circular cylinder not only includes this curved surface, it also includes the two planes, that is this one and this one. These two planes, so in this case, this, the top one and the bottom one. These two planes are also included in this, right? So the solid enclosed by this, the solid enclosed by these surface, and the two planes perpendicular to the axis. The whole thing is called cylinder. Okay, so it is right circular. Why it is right? Because there is a circle. Why it's circular? Because there is a circle here. There is a circle here. These two are circle. Why right? Because this circle and this circle is actually perpendicular to the axis. Okay, these two circular planes are actually perpendicular, perpendicular to the axis. And this is not a polyhedron, why? Because it has a curved surface area. So let me repeat once again, in this chapter we will be discussing only about the right circular cylinder. So unless stated, the cylinder which we will be talking about will be assumed as right circular cylinder. Let's try to find the surface area of the right circular cylinder. So what we can do is, we can take a cylinder. This is an activity, so please do it uh, yourself also. This is a cylinder which is formed by paper. So you can take a piece of paper and you can just fold it to get the cylinder, right? Or if you have any cylindrical uh, object in your house which you can fold or it's waste, you can actually use it, right? So you have the cylinder and now you cut this. First you draw this line and then you cut from one side, right? This is a hollow cylinder now. Once you cut, you will actually open this. You open this side and this side. So you will get a rectangular kind of uh, sheet, right? Now you see this rectangular will have the height h. Why? Because the cylinder which we took had a height h. And the radius was R. So if the radius is R, 
what will be this length? This length will be nothing but the circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r. Understood? We took a cylinder with a radius r and height h and then we drew a line and we have cut along this particular line and we open it up. So when we open it up, we got a rectangular piece with the height h and this length will be nothing but 2 pi r because this is circumference, right? If this is, let's suppose, put a point here, this is a and this point be a dash. So here when you open it, this is a and this is a dash. So this is b and this is b dash. This is b and this is b dash. That's for your understanding. When you open it up, so this b dash comes here, b comes here and a comes here, a dash comes here. So you get a rectangular. So what is the area of this rectangle? Length into breadth. So the area will be what? Length is nothing but 2 pi r and breadth is h. So you get the area of this rectangle as 2 pi r h. And this area is nothing but the curved surface area of the cylinder. Thus, the curved surface area of the cylinder is nothing but 2 pi r h. Correct? Any doubt on this? So, the curved surface area of the cylinder is nothing but area of the sheet because this sheet is nothing but the curved surface area of the cylinder. But as we told that, the cylinder not only has this curved surface area, it also has these two planes. Right? So when you talk about the total surface area, we have also we also have to include these two areas. And these two are circles. So area of one circle is what? Pi r square. So area of this circle is also what? Pi r square. So we have to add 2 pi r square on this to get total area. Right? So 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h will actually give you the total surface area of the cylinders. That is nothing but 2 pi r into r plus h. So what we have done, we have taken 2 pi r common. The same thing, you take 2 pi r common, you get 2 pi r into h plus r. That is here. So in case of cuboid, we have seen total surface area, we have seen the lateral surface area. So in this case of cylinder, we talk about the curved surface area and the total surface area. So curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi r into h and the total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square that is the area of these two base right? these two covers okay so if you want to visualize you can just visualize in this fashion there is a circles and we know the perimeter 2 pi r just extend that to the height that is 2 pi r h right extend with the height multiply with the height you extend this with the height what you get is the curved surface area 2 pi r to h. So what you get is this curved surface area. On that you add these two base that is 2 pi r square you have to add to 2 pi r h you get the total surface area of the cylinder. Pause this video for some time get acquainted with the concept of curved surface area and the total surface area of the cylinder very very important concept very very important formulas. The next few questions will all be based on these formulas. Right? So you have to think of the cylinder, you have to think of the surface area, of the curved surface area of the cylinder, you have to think about the total surface area of the cylinder. Understand how we have derived this. We just took a cylinder, cut it open, we got a rectangular piece of dimension h and 2 pi r, that is the total area of that particular rectangle was 2 pi r h. Thus, we concluded that the surface area, the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. We also told you that the cylinder also has two base of each area pi r square. Thus, the total surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h, that is curved surface area, plus 2 into pi r square, that is the area of two base. Right? So, we have curved surface area of the cylinder and we have total surface area of the cylinder. Let's take some numerical to understand these concepts now. Savitri is a student and she had to make a model of a cylindrical kaleidoscope for her science project. She wanted to use chart paper to make the curved surface of the 
this scope, KDDO scope. What would be the area of chart paper required if you wanted to make a KDDO scope of length 25 cm and radius 3.5 cm. So if you see a cylindrical KDDO scope and with that you see all the funny objects. You must have prepared this in your class. And the length of this KDDO scope is 25 cm and the units are all same, good for us. And the radius is always take radius for convention. It helps even if the uh, unit is given in diameter, please make it as radius. It always helps. Else, sometimes the value is given in diameter and you take it as radius, you get confused and you end up getting wrong answer. So, better to take everything in the radius. Always use radius. Okay. So, we have to create a cylinder, cylindrical kilodoscope with a uh, length of 25 centimeters. This part is length and the radius of 3.5 cm. So we need to know what is the chart paper required and so you want to make only the curved surface, right? So we have to find curved surface area. So curved surface area of Kaliodoscope, which is nothing but a cylinder, is what? 2 pi r h, put the value there. 2 pi is 22 by 7 or 3.14 whatever you want to take or is 3.5 which is 25 typically we take 22 by 7 when either h or r has some values which you can um, cut with 7 so it is 3.5 is a multiple of 7 so you took this value so if you see you cut this you get 0.5 so you solve this and this was in centimeter centimeter so it is centimeter square Solve this, you get 550 centimeter square, and that is the area of the chart paper required by Savitri to create this cylindrical kilodoscope. Let's take another simple numerical the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder of height 14 centimeter. The height is given. And the whole curved surface area is given 88 centimeter. We have to find the diameter of the base. We have to find this. First let's find R and then we can find diameter. So we know that the curved surface area of cylinder is what? 2 pi R H and that is given 88 centimeter square is nothing but 2 into pi that is 22 by 7 into r we don't know h is 14 centimeter correct so you saw this you get r as this two r as one centimeter so if r is one centimeter Diameter is what? Twice of radius. That is nothing but 2 cm. And that is the answer. Pretty easy question. Straightforward. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials. And you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.